Well, it's the final week of September, but it still feels like we're getting two seasons in a single day. Here's our Lee Ji-hyun at the Weather Center with details. ji despite the breezy mornings and evenings, I'm sure many are still turning on the air conditioning when driving in the afternoon. Daniel, it does still feel pretty hot in the afternoon with a fair amount of sunshine. In fact, the highs last weekend here in Seoul were over 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, that was almost true even today, but rain tomorrow will bring much cooler temperatures to the capital area, much closer in the afternoon to seasonal averages. So for tomorrow, 10 to 15 millimeters of rain is expected for the central regions, while the southern provinces will see spotty rain of 5 to 10 millimeters. In fact, we are in for unsettled weather conditions this week. A rain is expected around the nation that starting tomorrow will linger until Thursday, but the amount won't be that much. Now moving on to tomorrow's temperature readings. Daily low here in Seoul and Daejeon will start out at 21 degrees Celsius. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will see a high of 24 degrees Celsius. But Daegu, Busan, Jeju and Gwangju will remain quite warm tomorrow afternoon. Now the weather agency has announced its outlook for the coming month. The big gaps in temperatures will continue in October. And we are forecast to have a cold winter this year. That's Korea for you, and here's the international weather for viewers around the world.